five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Live from New York. Hey, everybody. It's the Ramble. And we go from now until midnight, Eastern Time. And I'm your host, Alex Bennett. How about that spiffy new opening, huh? Huh? You like that? You want to see it again? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. We'll do it again. There we go. all of about a half hour to do today so that's uh, that's what we do now is our big opening on the program <laughs> it worked except i didn't have the sound up high enough the, the first time out there so what the hell you know well i thought i'd talk to you for the first half hour of the show hey it's tuesday i'm actually on don't count on it don't count on it you know ugh cuz i'm uh I'm, uh, I'm on my last leg, folks. I mean, literally, my feet are killing me. And I've got this neuropathy, and it's causing my feet to hurt. I have all the, I have all the uh, signs of having uh, diabetes, but I don't. I mean, my do I asked both my doctors. They took blood tests and everything. I said, do I have diabetes? And they said, no, no way. You haven't got it. So... I, I have all the all the wonderful things about your uh, uh, neuropathy, uh, with uh, none of the fun of having diabetes. I mean, at least with diabetes, I would have eaten a lot of chocolate. Oh wait, a moment, let me turn that on uh, the light. Here we go. See, it's magic. I can also it's it's a, it's a clap on, clap off. Watch. See, there we go. Actually, I had this little deal here. Anyway, so I, uh, I, my, my, I've been having these, this, these feet problems, and I, I don't know what to do. I'm just, I'm tired of it. I guess I'm ready to, to go on, to go to the great beyond at some point here, and just say to hell with it. That's it. That's all. I, I don't need any more than this. You know, life's, uh, life's uh, uh, just not worth it anymore. It just hurts too much. You know, I, I think that's what, the, what the, the good Lord does to you. You know, as you get older, you get all these aches and pains and you hurt a lot. So when death finally does come, it's kind of like a blessed relief. So, uh, boy, I'm going to be I'm going to be uh, 80 years old. Can you believe that? It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, uh, I, I, I got to be 80. Uh, my mother got to be 100. Hell, she I got 20 more years to go if I live as long as she did. So, you know, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Anyway, I have been, uh, I've been uh, uh, thinking about a lot of stuff the last couple of days. You know, I guess the one thing that I always kind of... Uh, felt good about was that I was lucky enough that I had two parents who fucked in the United States of America. Uh, that they didn't, they didn't fuck in the Germany prior to World War II, or otherwise I would probably have died in a concentration camp. That they didn't, uh, uh, they didn't uh, fuck in Cuba and I would be, uh, have to have lived under Castro. Uh, they didn't live in the uh, Soviet Union during the uh, uh, days of, of Stalin, uh, so I didn't have to grow up. But I grew up in America, and in America, life is a lot better, and it's a lot freer, and it's a lot, uh, be you know, it's good. It's supposed to be good. And I, uh, uh, I, just, I just really kind of like the fact that I was an American, and, 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 and in many ways, I didn't realize how good I had it. You know, 
uh, over and above other countries because other countries had dictators, other countries had despots, other countries had um, strong men, you know, like Noriega and things like that. And these idiots who somehow made other people's lives miserable uh, because it made their life feel better. I don't know what the reason was. And thank God I didn't live in a country with dictators. Uh, and all of a sudden, I wake up one morning here in America, and I realize I am living in a dictatorship. What, Alex? We're not living in it. Come on, that's overstating. No, you know, Trump feels very much like a South American dictator who thinks he can do anything, say anything, do anything with impunity, and it doesn't matter because he's the strong man. And he has all his uh, acolytes around him or helping him to uh, uh, work out what he needs to have worked out and to save his ass when it needs to be saved. And I suddenly realize that we're living, we've got a guy here who is the equivalent of a South American strongman, or thinks he is. He is not as strong as some of those strongmen. I mean, they managed to stay in power for decades. He's probably not going to make it through one term. Now, you're, you're going, Alex, you're, you're, just, you're just making too big a deal out of all of this. And I'm saying to you, no, I'm not. You know, uh, we have to live with the fact that we are living with a, um, uh, a guy who is crazy. Uh, I, I, you know, and I, it took me a while to come to this because I figured, you know, when he became president, uh, I said to girlfriend, she said, oh, this is terrible, this is horrible, he's become president of the United States and he's going to ruin our country, and blah, blah, blah. And I said, you know, the great thing about America, because I always believed this was, it could survive a anything like a dictator or somebody would come along and try and do ill to the country. I said, there's no irreparable damage you can do to this country that can't be fixed by the next guy. Well, I was wrong, okay? This guy has done so much damage in the last uh, three years that uh, it's, it goes, it's beyond, I think it's beyond repair. I think, it's certainly not in my lifetime. Uh, and then who knows if the next person is going to be able to clear it all up, and if after that the American public doesn't vote for some other douchebag like Trump. Um, so it, it's, it's really, you know, uh, I, I'm at a point where I'm feeling uh, really depressed about this. Uh, where I'm saying to myself, you know, I have finally seen the downfall of America. And it was all done by you out there because you voted this guy into office. I know you'd go, he, well, he lost by 3, 000, 3 million votes, and he did, he's not uh, the president fair and square and blah, 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 but he is. Okay, whatever, for whatever reason, this guy became president. And a democracy that I thought was protected against uh, evil uh, that, you know, that if, if somebody could do something really terrible, but we have so many different things in place to prevent somebody, you know, we have a lot of uh, rules in the Constitution to make sure a president can never have complete control of this country, or we thought so. But when he doesn't play by the rules and he tries to get rid of a lot of the rules, uh, that may have been a bad uh, assumption. But they did create this democracy with built-in safeguards against it. That's why we had three different uh, sections of the government, so they all have to answer to the other, okay? And no one segment, my pres the president can't do it all. But it's starting to happen. This guy thinks he can get away with anything. Let's be honest. What He has really been had this time. He's been found with his finger in the cookie jar, and I want to know, who, who is at the White House telling him, you can't do that, that's not good, that's, you're going to get in trouble for that. Uh, I think nobody ever told him no. I think that's his problem, and so he doesn't understand anybody who would disagree with him. But here's a guy 
who had the temerity to call the head of another country and ask him to involve himself in a process which would help him win the next election by discrediting his prime rival, okay? Because Joe Biden is the prime rival at this point. I mean, that's exactly what happened. It's like he got on the phone and he said, you know, uh, I want you to do me a favor. Uh, uh, and, and, and the favor is this. I want you to see if you can find out stuff about Joe Biden's son uh, because uh, it would be a great help to me. Now, he wasn't doing the business of the country, mind you, in that call. He was doing the business of Donald Trump. And he was doing this surreptitiously to try and get a foreign government to meddle or be asked to meddle in the, uh, in, in, in uh, the, um, what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? In the, uh, in the election of another. So, I mean, it really is pretty terrible all the way around. And when you see this kind of thing happening, you're going, come on, this only happens in dictatorships. This only happens in, where there are despots involved. This only happens in North Korea. This only happens in uh, some South American banana republic right? But no, it's happening here, it's happening now, and it's happening with this president. Now, what makes it even worse are all the people that are complicit with him. Like, who is at the White House telling him, no, you can't do that? You know? Uh, I think he's gotten rid of anybody that would say that. He's got everybody around him between, between Steve Mnuchin and, and Bob Barr, uh, who is really his lawyer. Forget about being the head of the Justice Department. He's really his lawyer. Uh, and um, you've got, uh, who are all the other people? you got uh, Pompeo. He was there when the call was made, they say. <clears throat> um, and, of course, this scumbag, Rudy Giuliani, who, I swear, did you see the interview with him on CNN with Chris, Chris Cuomo where he said, I positively did not. And he says, but you're saying that you are, and he says, well, I did, you know, something like that. And you're going, jeez, I mean, why is Trump even allowing Giuliani to go on television? Because there's somebody in this democracy that's worse than he is? And does he speak for the president? I'd hate to think so. But who's disgusting, excuse me, I'm holding my eyes like this, so I will prevent myself from sneezing, because I'm going to sneeze any second here. Hold on. Turned off the audio so you wouldn't hear me blow my nose. There. Now I don't have to sneeze. Now I'm all plugged up. Yeah, anyway. Uh, it, 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 you have uh, these Republicans, none of whom, you, you, uh, well, uh, none of whom are really saying anything against Trump in all of this. Uh, what's his name uh, from, uh, from, uh, uh, from Utah? Uh, former guy who ran for president. Mitt Romney. Uh, Mitt is the only one that's really come out and said, I'm very bothered by this. And that's because, now, you know, I didn't like Rip, Rip, Rip Nomney. Rip, <laughs> Mitt Romney. I didn't like Mitt Romney as a candidate, and I didn't like his politics, but I got to say something. Every now and then you got a guy in politics who goes against the grain. The grain being that he's totally honest, okay? There is nothing dishonest about Mitt Romney. His religion won't let him be dishonest. And uh, so when he comes out and says, I feel uncomfortable with this, with all that's going on, uh, you really got to say to yourself, there's a problem here. But he's not the only Republican, the only one. The rest of them are like in a lockstep with the president. And, and, and they're using talking points. You know, the one I hate that I've heard so often is, it wasn't quid pro quo. That means, you know, you do something for me and I'll do something for you. Well, it was quid pro quo. At least that's what was insinuated. But I hate the use of that term because what happens is every Republican who got in front of a microphone was saying, well, it's not quid pro quo. 
It's like they're hand of the talking points. And none of these Republicans have a mind of their own to be able to say, fuck you, I don't think this, this guy's crazy, and he's going to ditch, he's going to hurt the Republican Party rather than help it. And believe it or not, these guys are going to have to, they're going to have to atone for their sins when re-election time comes around for the seat they're currently holding. The fact that they're, the, the, you have to really, you would have to uh, uh, really cast a wide net to find a single Republican outside of Mitt Romney, and I can't think there might be one other, who have come out against the president and said they don't feel comfortable with this whole thing, that the action that he took was not a, 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 a positive one. So what do we do about all of this? You know, uh, uh, over, he did, are you ready for this? Over the weekend, he did, what, over 100 tweets of one sort or another? The one that got to me was, if I don't get reelected, there's going to be a civil war in this country. Well, what's he asking? That everybody go out and have a civil war uh, oh, if he doesn't get elected? I mean, that one I just absolutely don't understand. And uh, uh, I, I just, you know, I, it, it amazes me, uh, you know, it, 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 that he can say things like that. Uh, when he says things like uh, he's, he's, he's working to try and root out all the people that were in on the whistleblowing. Okay, fine. Good for you. Good for you. Glad you're doing that. Okay. Uh, glad you're doing that. Uh, because um, uh, the problem is, it's like he's really paranoid. He's really paranoid. There are people out to get him, and he is spending his whole days not thinking about gun control, not trying to get jobs better for people or get more money into people's pockets or to come out with human services programs or things which presidents do. He's spending his whole time being paranoid and going after the evildoers who would dare to not be loyal to him. It's driving him crazy that there was somebody in the White House who's a whistleblower. Just driving him completely nuts. And by the way, this whistleblower, he says, well, the whistleblower was lying. Well, how does he know he was lying? We haven't come out with what the whistleblower exactly has said. And what he has said is that he is simply, simply verifying all the things that were in that, that transcript that came out, which, by the way, wasn't a word-by-word uh, -word transcript. It was a, what can we call it? it, it there's a term for it. Uh, but it, 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 they, they, a bunch of people sit around, they listen to what you're saying, and they write down kind of what was said. It's not a word-for-word. -word. So anyway, he says none of that was true, and then he then he gives out this transcript, which is exactly what the whistleblower has been saying. And everything in the transcript is enough to make you say, this is, it makes, like Mitt Romney said, makes me feel uncomfortable. It makes me feel real uncomfortable. And it's uncomfortable that somebody could be president of the United States and feel that he can do this sort of thing. So what are we going to do about this? You know, what's the future of all of this? Well, uh, I guess if he doesn't get elected, we're going to have to go get some guns because uh, there's going to be a civil war, right? Why would we have a civil war if he wasn't elected? You know what happens? He doesn't get reelected. The new person becomes president, and everybody goes back to doing what they were doing. You know, and of course, they'll make the life of the next president miserable. If it's a Democrat, the Republicans will spend their time making their life miserable. Um, I, quite frankly, I, I think, you know, um, uh, I've gotten used to Trump getting away with everything. Um, and it bothers me that he has. But, but I think this time, uh, I think there's a chance he doesn't have too much wiggle room, you know? Uh, he knows, it, it, you can tell he's got flop sweat, because when you're doing 100 tweets in a weekend, you're doing, you're doing what you consider damage control. Uh, you're trying to convince everybody that you're right and everybody else is wrong, and um, you're tweeting yourself crazy because you're paranoid, and you're, you're, you're seeing that the end may well be near, you know. 
I wonder, I wonder if this is how the Tsar of Russia felt when, uh, when there was the revolution and stuff and he knew they were coming for him. Uh, you know, I mean, it, it, it's, it's not good. And I know what uh, some of our Republican friends will say, oh, well, he didn't do anything wrong. Yes, he did. He tried to involve another country in the affairs of this country when it came to our elections. Uh, he tried to get something that would benefit his uh, candidacy uh, that he hoped that the Ukrainians had. And by the way, I saw the uh, former foreign secretary, I think, for the Ukraine, who said he remembers the whole Biden thing, and the, the Biden Jr. didn't do anything wrong. And the guy who was the prosecutor that they, that they actually fired because uh, uh, he, he, they considered him corrupt, he, in an interview, this was with, what's his name, Engel, Richard Engel over at NBC, said yesterday, uh, hey, there was no, he, they, he did, broke no laws here in the Ukraine. So, you know, uh, Trump is trying to get the goods on, 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 on uh, Biden and um, he may well have gotten the goods on Biden. I'll tell you how. Here's the, here's, here's the problem. Because of all of this, and because the president was saying, we're trying to find out what kind of hinky stuff went on with Biden's kid, okay? Uh, what kind of st hinky stuff went on with Biden's kid? Uh, we want to, you know, come up with a, uh, uh, with a, uh, uh, where was I? Because we, because we got, oh yeah, because what they're saying is because there's something we're implying here went on hinky with, with Biden's, ki Biden's kid and, and Biden got himself involved and blah, 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 and you know, onward and upward. Because of that, uh, that's going to stick. It's kind of like a stink that you can't get rid of because everybody who thinks about Biden now is going to, in the back of their mind, just have a slight feeling, well, did something really go on in the Ukraine with Biden and his kid? So, you know, that in and of itself is terrible. Is Biden going to be the nominee for the party? <sighs> I don't know. I don't care. I'm not crazy about Biden. But nevertheless, uh, this has certainly not made it easy for Anyway, I'm going to open the lines here. I'm tired. I want you to do the talking, okay? So uh, I'll open up the lines. If you look uh, closely over at your, uh, at your Skype, you will see that the green light is on next to my name, that ne ne next to Gabnet Live's name. And you can then call me and tell me what you think about all of this. But, you know, uh, I just, when I was growing up, I just thought, hey, you know, I felt sorry for everybody else who lived in those countries with dictators and stuff like that. And I didn't have to live in a country that was that way. And slowly but surely, I'm living in a country that is that way. So, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's sad. And I don't know what the next generation is going to have handed to them, but it ain't good. Okay? It ain't good. Anyway, uh, our, uh, our number here is GabNet Live. Uh, we would like some new people to call as well using Skype. If you don't have Skype, just go over to our GabNet Live and over on the right-hand side of the page, it'll help you to, to be able to, to do this and to do this whole process. Let me see here. Let me go to my uh, uh, panel here. And uh, uh, wait a minute. He's got to turn off his, uh, some audio coming back. Or maybe there's... Uh, there's a little bit of slap back there. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let me see here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. There we go. Hi there, Charlie. How are you? Hi, Alex. I'm worn out. You're worn out. Yeah. Oh, you. Oh, it looks like I see that room. Every time we show you show us that room, there's a new bookcase and there's something else. Yeah. Yeah. I'm putting together all these bookcases and it's wearing me out. It, it is. Now, were they bookcases you took apart to travel? Yeah, I had to take them apart to move them. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And then so there was always... Put them in that little box. Yeah. And did you have all the screws and everything when you got here? Yep. Oh, and okay. All put in baggies and labeled and all that stuff, so I knew I had them all. Boy, are you efficient. <laughs> yeah. So how do you feel being back in Texas? 
I'm loving it. Once I get everything set up, I yeah. can't I can't do my normal routine because I'm too busy trying to dodge boxes and unpack stuff and running the DPS to try and get my driver's license and all that stuff. So, yeah. oh, 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 you 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 can wait a while before you get the driver's license, can't you? Got to do it in 30 days or they fine you. Really? But yep. suppose you don't know if you really like the place or not. You might be moving <laughs> soon. <laughs> you, you better know. figure it out in 30 days. You're going to pay. You know? Yeah. Fines. Yeah. Let's see here. Uh, we should have, um, we should have, let's see here. Uh, let me, let me see here. Let me uh, put uh, scuba, diver. scuba Diver up here. There we go. There we go. Yep. Come on, Scuba Diver. Pop in. There you go. Hello, Scuba Diver. Hey, doing the pop in, huh? Huh? Doing the pop in. It's yeah. a Seinfeld thing. Yeah. 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 Uh, but uh, uh, Charlie's been telling me about his exciting weekend of putting bookcases together. Yeah. Well, moving's not fun. I don't even want to move the thing that has my stereo in it so I could run the wire behind and put in one of those Apple TVs on the TV with the <laughs> Roku. You know, so I can watch uh, using my phone and, and using the Apple TV to broadcast what's on the phone so i get some things on that that i don't get on the road yeah, roku doesn't roku unfortunately doesn't have um uh, a system where you can use things like uh you know uh, your the phone iPhone. or the ipad yeah, yeah. To, I, to i think there may be some programs to do it. i'm not sure but um yeah i have to use my i have an apple tv and a roku on every set yeah so i can do exactly that and i can play stuff off my phone now, I, I have the original Apple TV. It is, you know, the first one that came out. Uh, well, and well, uh, I guess there's a difference. But uh, will, it, will it work? It should. Uh, it does on the one in the bedroom, but I never watch the Do one in have the bedroom. Four, so. Are you used 4K TV sets? No. What? No, I got a 60-inch uh, Sharp in the living room, and... It looks good enough. Go over to Costco yeah. for three hundred bucks. You can get yourself a sixty-five inch uh, uh, a TCL with a built-in four K Roku and a four K TV set. There's only one problem. What do you do with the other sixty inch? You know, yeah. I I can take it down to the garage and put it in the recycle thing, but you know what? It's working fine. Uh, Not once you get a four K TV set and see how good they look. Well, ignorance is bliss. Yes, and you've proved that many a time on this program. <laughs> yeah, that's it's sort of the Democrats. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the, the thing is, hey, it, it looks good enough. I mean, for the stuff I watch, I watch Netflix and I watch Prime TV. What do you mean? And, Netflix and is Skype. In, next, uh, not Skype. Uh, what the hell Netflix, is the name of that show? Prime is in 4K for free. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you have to pay a little extra to get it on Netflix, but uh, you have 4K. All those movies, you know, do you know when you go to a movie theater now, you know, it's all projected vi video, right? I only care about the comfy chair. No, no but it's all, it's all <laughs> video they're projecting. And do you know what, yeah. uh, what the resolution it is? Uh, 720p? No, it's, four, it's 4K. <laughs> That's, really? So when you're sitting there watching 4K on your TV screen, you're watching movie theater quality. Yeah. Well, you know, it's been a long time since I've even gone to the movie theater. Uh, the last thing I saw in the movie theater was that John Wick thing, and that was a piece of shit. That was a couple of months. It's about a month ago. At least. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, 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 Charlie, do you have a 4K? Um, no. That special K. No. Okay. No, I don't. I, I've got a smart TV, but it's, uh, I don't think it's 4K. Yeah, I mean, 4K is now, I don't think you can find a non-4K set almost. It's pretty hard. Right. To I, don't want a, I don't want a smart TV because I don't want anything in the house smarter than me. <laughs> there are blenders that are smarter than you, Phil. <laughs> yeah, uh, bada boom. Come on, anybody else going to call this the piece of shit show here? Hey, I love the new video opening. Did you like the video opening? Oh, oh that yeah, was too. first cabin. Yeah. Wait a minute, let me just play it for the audience here so they can see it, okay? Yeah. There it is. There's our new opening.
Then I sing. And then, of course, we have the uh, the Alex the Ramble thing. There we go. How do you like that? That was, that was really nice. Okay, well. It was a nice surprise. I was shocked. Yeah, sure. you'll get tired of it. <laughs> 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 you know. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's it's very nice. Uh, you know, congratulations on that one. Yeah, well, you know, uh, well, we we try. I just wanted to do something to make me feel. It's like buying a new dress, you know. Um, oh, you would know more about that than me. Well, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's like you go out and you buy something, and it, it makes your life feel a little new. You know. Yeah, I think it's the. Uh, adrenaline rush or the endorphins you get from from buying something but they wear off quickly they do especially when you get the bill yeah every, <laughs> now, and then I, every now and then i get this this itch to buy something yeah and i then i can't think about anything i want to buy you got 10 rooms you got no more room for any more tvs you know what are you going to start two tvs in a room i've been thinking about it <laughs> <laughs> Well, you see, in the other room, I've taken my uh, my my uh, my Mac Pro, and yeah. I put in a new graphics card, so it can now run Mojave. Yeah. And the graphics card is so good, I I'm thinking about changing. I, I only have like 1080 by whatever, on that yeah. that screen, and so I want to get a, a much higher resolution screen in there, but the screen yeah. I've got is really good, so I may use it on the as the second. Well, you have the same uh, graphics card in your new Mac Pro that I have. The, it's an advanced, uh, I forgot what it is. Uh, it's the D500 Radeon. Uh, it's, uh, it's a Radeon D500. It's the Radeon D500. Uh, no, I have a AMD Fire Pro D700, 6 gigabytes. Wait a, minute, wait a minute, that's what I have. Excuse me, it is a Radeon. Hold on. Uh, AMD see. Fire Pro. About this, about this Mac. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, it's an AMD uh, Fire Pro D700, six gigabyte. That's what I have. Yeah, and yeah. there are two and, of them in there. Uh, yeah, that's that's a monster, you know. Yeah, yeah, uh, and I do have fairly good monitors here. I mean, it's an old monitor, but it's an Apple monitor, so yeah, works yeah, pretty I've good. Got, I've got a Dell IPS 30-inch monitor, but mm -hmm. uh, it, in the day it was 1,100 bucks, but it's been five years. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, that's you know, uh, what are we talking about, folks? Who cares? Call us, will you? Jeez, oh. Almighty. Well, we can talk tech or we can talk Trump. Uh, they both start with T, but I'd rather talk tech. <laughs> yeah, 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 and I'd rather. Well, I don't know if I'd rather talk Trump. Yeah, you know. I'm very depressed about it. Yeah, oh, and rightly you should. America has become a banana republic. Oh yeah, I don't know. I don't know about Texas that. Texas has been that way for a while. It's been that way for a while. It's that we've got. You know, I we always wondered what would happen if we got a president who was crazy, and I'm sure we've had some already, and we just didn't know about it. But uh, a president who was truly, totally bonkers mm -hmm. and this one seems to be going that way he's getting to a state of paranoia that uh i'm i'm uh, nixon was crazy towards the end he was talking to paintings on the wall you know well when he starts asking who ate the strawberries yeah uh, then, then we know we know. got a problem but he yeah. you know it's like he he's he's obsessed right now with finding the whistleblower i mean come on you got more things to do with your day than find the whistleblower you know who betrayed me? I want to find out who betrayed me. Well, that's, that's crazy that's behavior. A good thing to know. It's crazy behavior. He, he's had leaks in his uh, in his office uh, since the beginning, and uh, he's tried to ferret out those leaks. No, he and, thinks uh, he's had he has leaks. You know, yeah. he, he's paranoid. But I he's thought up. he only hired the best. Well, we'll see who the leaker is. Well, the, the the leaker is they say is a CIA agent. We'll see. Yeah, and 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 he didn't you know there was, he didn't say anything that wasn't in that report. 
Yeah, uh, I don't think this the leakers report is is quite out yet. I, I know. I mean, uh, uh, but the thing is that you have Trump sitting there yelling and screaming what's probably in it, you know, and it's a lie. All of it's a lie. Well, no, it's exactly what you released the other day. Yeah. Well, I don't think what he released was such a bad thing, but we'll see. That's they're having an thing. inquiry. Phil, Phil, when you are asking, they're having an inquiry. When you are asking, get well, no, but, no, but come on, you have the contemporaneous uh, uh, transcript there. Uh, in which he is asking the head of a foreign company, a country, to help him get the goods, basically no. on his on his rival. He asked them to investigate Joe Biden's son. No, no, no. Now, no, no the, not, the other thing is no, no. But Adam why? Schiff, but why did he want him read, to? Why did he want him to go after Joe Biden's son? Because he's investigating corruption, uh, the it, corruption no, minute, that started co the Russia. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. What corruption? It wasn't corruption. If it happened, it happened in the Ukraine, so it was Ukrainian right. corruption. That has There's nothing to do Ukrainian has corruption. nothing to do with us. But hey, we'll has, let the facts fact come out. Phil, it has nothing to do with us. How do you answer that one? I say it did. How? I say it How? was the How? origins of the Russia investigation, which no, was no, promulgated no, no, by no, no, the DNC no, no. and Hillary Clinton. No, no, and no. Oh, the highest levels of the Obama Oh, boy. Are you drinking the Kool-Aid? It's funny how you didn't ask anybody to uh, investigate any Ukrainians. Just Americans. And they're all convicted by Mueller. 25 of them. But, you know, hey, well, I'm happy I'm happy to let them have this investigation. Uh, if there was a wrongdoing, it'll come out. If there wasn't wrongdoing... That should come out too. I'm I'm predicting that it will be maybe two, maybe three weeks before this president finally loses it completely. I don't yeah. think so. His his actions this last weekend come close to that. A hundred tweets, Phil. He is getting discombobulated. Yeah, he's 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 shooting bullets everywhere. Well, I sent him some money. I I know you did. I was part of that 15 million that he got in I don't know how many hours, and uh, you know uh, how much you send him, Phil? How much you send him million this quarter? How much you send him? 25 bucks. <laughs> oh Jesus! I sent 200. Boy, I love I like, love your know. conviction, Phil. Hey, 25 bucks. You know, times the number of people. I'm uh, what they call a small contributor. And I'll probably make other donations, but I'll delve it out a little at a time. Oh, by the way, Ms. Fax here, I guess is the name, says that the best uh, 4K TV 2019 uh, is uh, TCL 6 Series. That's right. I, yeah, TCL is, is considered one of the best sets around and the cheapest. I mean, who makes, cheap. Who makes... Who makes their tube? Um, well, not tube, but you know, who makes their thing? Well, you know, Panasonic I, used to make most I've, of them. I've, no, Samsung makes most. The uh, Samsung. Okay. I don't think Samsung makes theirs. I think they make their own. Their, their um, TCL is, uh, I think, a Korean outfit, if I'm not mistaken. Really? Yeah. North? Hmm? <laughs> no, no, not north. <laughs> Up there, it'd still be a tube. Yeah. <laughs> yeah really. Cathode <laughs> <No>. ray. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, uh, no, but, uh, you know, whatever. So if nobody else calls, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call quits in about 15 minutes and go lie yeah. down and take it easy. Well, why should I? You know, why should well, I? Uh, yeah. I? I think you I should make reservations. What? I think you should take reservations. People should write you and commit that they're going to call. <laughs> well, I think I might go on one day a week and take only one call. <laughs> that would be a full house. Yeah, one yeah. call, right? And then do the it whole. It would be Charlie. He's always on first. Yeah, uh, yeah. Be yeah. just Charlie. Just and me. Way. You know, you said I'm going to open up the lines. I had to run in and get my pants. It'd be Charlie and me. <laughs> Charlie and me talking about how you put furniture together. Yeah, that would be it. That wasn't IKEA by any chance, was it? Oh yeah, a lot of my stuff's IKEA. <laughs> I, I got Ikea and stuff. And that's what's so hard about it. That's why it's so hard. 
You ever put anything together from Ikea? Well, because they don't they just give you plans, but there's no language in there. It's just got arrows pointing <laughs> places. And, they give you yeah. a lot of pictures and stuff, but... Yeah, it's, it's not so hard. Ikea is not so bad. The problem is, is if you put it together wrong, you have to take it apart Wait, to put it back yeah. together. It Wait, falls apart. But you, you know, know something? I bought like about four or five bookcases from my place in yeah. San Francisco. And um, I, uh, the first one I had to put together, I don't know, it was a bear. Okay. But once I got that one together, the other one's boom, 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 because you suddenly realize how it was done. What did you do with that solid walnut one that I got for you? Uh, it, it was solid walnut. It had a desk built into it with a gold key and had shelves. I put it together for you in Sausalito. but I don't remember that. Yeah. But then I, I don't remember much of anything anymore. <laughs> Join the club. <laughs> you, you know. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, uh, yeah. Uh, gold, gold key. Yeah, the, the, it, had a, it had a box that the, the face of it dropped forward and it became a desk. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was like a gold key that stayed in the lock, like a skeleton key. Yeah. And uh, you had it to the right of the dining room table, just in yeah. the, between, uh, you know, next to the kitchen. But it was against the wall. On the, uh, to the right of the dining room table. Oh, okay. All right. You don't remember. Huh? Uh, yeah. I don't remember, but I'll, I'll try to. Yeah. I'm trying. You wanted to... it. Oh, oh you, you, it was already together. I mean, you only... uh, No, I put it together. I, took, I had it in, uh, in another place, mm -hmm. and in my place in Sausalito, I had all Japanese stuff, tansus and things like that. So uh, I didn't want this. It wasn't the right style. You wanted it. And See, I, I... Took, I took something from you. Yeah, I put it together for you. Boy. Get from no. Ikea. No wonder you feel... No, it was not from Ikea. It was a really Phil, good we shop I, I don't owe you anything for that, do I, Phil? No. Oh, okay. No. Right. Not break. <laughs> you did it out of the goodness of your heart, is that? Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't need it. You wanted it. Okay. I put I put it together. Yeah. yeah. Together, too. So uh, we had another vaping death today. They're dying no, left and right. We're up to 16 now. Is it an epidemic? Keep on coming. I hope we get more parking. I mean, I'm going to have my mother vape. I just think this whole, you know, you know, it was on the news tonight. It was on the Channel 4 News. It was like, uh, tonight, a uh, 16th vaping incident. They're counting them down every night on NBC News. And, used to and, do that with jumpers. And I'm going, how many people mm. got killed yesterday in car accidents from drunk drivers? You know, I mean, come on. I mean, 14 out of all the people in the country that are vaping, and, and nobody yet has said any of these are from anybody vaping s cigarette smoke. You know, the, Give them time. No, but Give I mean, it, it's time. not like the vaping is, is, is happening. It's usually somebody buying um, blackmail marijuana cartridges. Uh, it, it, have any, has anybody checked the conspiracy to see what the political affiliation of these people oh, dying from vaping are? Uh, you know, that maybe there's a conspiracy here. Maybe Joe Biden did it. If you're maybe Joe Biden's Trump, son Trump, did it. Trump. Joe yeah. Biden's son did it. Nah, he, he just does coke. He just uh, you, know what's, you know what I'm enjoying right now, Alex? Seeing Rudy Giuliani actually lose his mind in national TV, left and right. He's not oh, he's, he, oh, he, he, oh, he looks like he's out there. No, he's lost it. Every, he, they had a whole medley of shows he was on over the weekend, and it was like he was going nuts. Yeah, I, well, he's got his story down now. So He Just, doesn't have I, his story down. That's the problem. He had, it's a craft, different, he had to craft it. It's a know. different story every time. If you you got to go see some of the medallies that they put together of him over the weekend. He was just going nuts. You know. Now, I didn't go. Now, to one the, of them, he uh, was just yelling at all the other people, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Yeah. There, there was a, it sounded heard, like Gabnet. <laughs> there was a lot of a lot of interruptions and uh, people talking over people. Mm. Uh, you know, I, I see what you mean. <laughs> but Phil, you have to admit, he looks kind of bad. Oh, well, that's and, just... And you look good? Well, Come I know on. I don't look good, but I mean, what's Rudy's excuse? And, and for your age, you should look a lot better than you look. Well, I like seeing Rudy on television because I feel better about the way I look. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tony's yeah. 50. Tony's 50. Oh, my God. 
I yeah. know. I, I'm, I don't it's like over, it. Tony. You're going to start know, falling apart. I know. You know. But Alex, can Rudy go to jail, you think? I'm hoping he does. Nah. No <laughs> he the guys he put in there? What's, he well, well what's funny so is he's the so president's good. lawyer, right? Mm -hmm. And uh -huh. now that his, all this stuff is happening, he has a lawyer. Everybody's got lawyers. So it's lawyers who have lawyers, and then those lawyers are going to do something wrong, and they have to get a lawyer to defend them, you know. Well, uh, what do they say about a lawyer who represents himself as a fool for an attorney? Well, it's like, it's like that old yeah. thing about, what fool was it? Yeah. Dogs yeah. have fleas upon their back to bite them, and other dogs have other fleas and so on ad infinitum. That's pretty much what we've got going here, you know. Yeah. I think Phil's starting to see the cracks, Alex, in the presidency. He doesn't want I, to admit it. I think no. he's starting to get he, he doesn't want to admit it. But the cracks are there. There's no question about it. It's, it's falling apart all around Trump, and it's driving him crazy. That's why he did 100 tweets over the weekend. You guys can't handle the truth. What truth? <laughs> we're, we're, the truth that he's uncovering all the corruption oh, from the Democrats, oh. and this is their way of trying to... Uh, change Phil, the story. Phil, can I, let me change. let me tell you something about Democrats. We're a bunch of fucking wimps. All right, oh, we're not true. capable of corruption. We don't know how to do it. Okay. Oh, yeah. If we well, knew, we would. But we don't yeah. know. When you guys were in charge of the House for forty years, there was plenty, and uh, you just want it back. So right now, they, you know, they were they yeah like like uh, Obama was a completely corrupt president, right? It's it's turning out that he probably is. Uh -huh. Oh, 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 come oh on. Him, him and Biden, absolutely bullshit. Not one come scandal on. in hey, his whole eight like years. I said you can't handle the truth. You know, yeah. it's it's coming out. It's going to continue to come out, and you're going to see that uh, these guys who are accusing Trump are really the guilty Here's ones. Here's what's funny about it. Somebody said here, so much fun to watch the implosion parade on Fox News. Fox yeah. News is starting to implode. They uh, Occasionally, they try to make ex excuses for what's going on, and they can't do it. And it's gotten uh, to the point now where Shepard Smith and uh, Chris Wallace are actually against the president. That's, that's, not, we'll that's a good thing. Really. Everybody yeah. else is for Question your ethics. What do you mean? You know, but Phil, you have to admit it's a pattern with Trump. Whenever there's hot yeah. water on him, he 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 starts pointing. It's always the truth. See, in, in Trump's world, it seems like in Giuliani's, everybody's lying, but I'm telling the truth. The whistleblower is is is, is got a, it's got something against me. This guy, it's like there's we'll a pattern. Find out. He like, is oh. a uh, uh, Trump is a pathological liar. This it, wait a minute. Let me setup. finish. Let me finish. Hold on a second. He's a pathological liar. He cannot open his mouth without lying. It's just part of his DNA. He, he lies without knowing he's lying, okay? Uh, and, and because of that, uh, it, 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 uh, it, you, you have a situation where pathological liars always have a tendency to blame other people for things they're guilty of. Okay, like so when he counts. when he accuses of Trump of something, or Obama of something, or he accuses Biden of something, it's really something he does himself. Okay, Doctor Bennett. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, uh, Charlie. Yeah, Trump lies even when there's no reason to lie. Like when he said that there was a Ukrainian Miss Universe winner. There never was a Miss Universe winner from the Ukraine, but he just made that up while he was talking to the Ukrainian president. Yeah. He's lied about. It. How about how, how about like how about how about this how about the, the, how about the uh, size of the people uh, the amount of people at the inauguration? Yeah, yeah. they were all very large. <laughs> <laughs> you got very large people. <laughs> That's right. You got that one. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's it, he is a pathological liar, and. Um, he he and and it's to, and I honestly believe he doesn't know when he's lying anymore. You know, I think he thinks they can. You know what I found amazing, Alex? Too, and I was going to tell you this. I was watching Rudy. I don't know what. Wait a minute, you're breaking up on us. Uh... I thought this was. And, and you know what he said? And I don't know what exactly how he said it. He goes, "Well, you know, it's all a cover up because it's the Democrats here and then Democrats." Are... So basically, is he trying to say Rudy all Democrats are bad? Oh yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's trying to put a line in the sand. You can't. He's basically saying the government, as we know it, 
is Wallace Fashad, and he knows who the bad guys are. It's not it, a it's line. It's not that. a line in the sand, Tony. It's a cut in the pizza. But Phil, you have to admit, he sounds like a hood. Mm-hmm. They all do. He is. A, it, no, it, no, they all don't. Just like Donald Trump. Trump. And his cronies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elizabeth Warren sounds like a crook. Yeah. Like she's she's gonna a beat liar. With a pipe. I don't what do you mean her. she's a They're liar? They're going after what her. What do you mean she's a the liar? The other Dems are going after her for stuff that she said uh, about the um, uh, uh, Cherokee uh, oh, heritage. God. That thing she apologized for well, six months matter. ago. Like, uh, it's not she, just it, Trump. It's other Democrats. No, other Democrats Trump. aren't going after her. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Democrats after her. Well, uh, it was on the news tonight. But I can't remember the, which you, Democrat. You can't remember which Democrat? You mean, uh, because let me know, because I wouldn't vote for him. Because it, I, that, it, that, that, story is, ones that story is so old, tier. and she's tried to explain it, but she apologized if anything was, was mistaken. And um, she simply said that her mother told her once that she had some Indian in her. Okay. So she checked that off to get the job? No, you know, she where just she, checked no, she off, never she checked it off to get a job. He said her, 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 her mother told American, her American that she had part American, she was part American Indian. And and uh, she checked her DNA and all of that and found out that, and no, she's true. not really. No. Yeah. You know, but she apologized for it. Something, t- when's the last time uh, Trump ever apologized for anything? He apologized for wrote. that tape. Uh, the uh, grab him by the pussy tape. He apologized to, oh, he to, the, to the country. He to never Melania. apologized for that. Yes, he did. Oh. And he wanted to buy a furniture, he said, on that tape. Well, he tried to take her to buy furniture. Oh. You know? Well, that was the way he was going to smooth everything? Like? Yeah, hey, let me buy you some furniture. Yeah, I got guy, such a I'm deal, it's like it, like it just jumped off, it fell off the back of the truck. He probably did get yeah. Uh, listen, Tony, do me a favor. Uh, move your remove. move your computer to someplace closer to your Wi-Fi. Because you're breaking up mean? you're breaking up a lot. Okay. Uh, so if you move I'm it, I'm going to change my network. Oh, you're going to change your network. Okay. Yeah, wait. I'm going to try to get to the one closest. Yeah. Okay. Go to MSNBC instead of TBS. Yeah. Uh, any better? Yeah. You can go to TNN. Well, you're not breaking yeah. up. You're not breaking up. I got five bars now. Yeah. Okay, so what, what what network were you? What do you mean network? Do you have? You know, I have a repeater downstairs that the Windows machine was seeing, so I put it to the one in the living room, and you know, right oh, by my, my mom's. Well, that's room. where it, you should oh, get to. I, the cl- yeah, the closest I didn't realize one. it. Do you see? Because I was downstairs with the dogs before, and I came up. Oh, okay. So you ah. should get the closest yeah. one. Yeah. 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 So, anyways, I'm, anybody else going to call tonight? I guess not. Fuck all of you. Okay. No, I've been and hanging you know with my realize, dog a lot. You know Ray Renati, when he does Trump's voice, he sounds like Alec Ball, and I was watching the cold open. He sounds like a pretty good <laughs> He's an actor. I, I, I got to tell you, a good one. Good. I, I watched Alec Baldwin this weekend do Trump again. Yeah. He should put that out to, out to pasture. It's getting old. It, it is good. getting old. You know. I'd like to see somebody else do Trump. Just, Did uh, Alec you know. Baldwin gain weight to do Trump? No. You know, because he lost a lot of weight. Yeah. Well, he probably wears a kind of a fat suit. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, but um, um, in fact, that show was, I watched it. It wasn't funny at all this week, you know. But you notice that for all the people like Rudy Giuliani and Bob Barr, they get the women on the show to play them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Some oh, of them yeah. are good. Yeah. I like the women. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, it, 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 the show is just, I don't know. It's long in the tooth. How? What's it? Forty-five uh, years. NBC should fire Lorne Michaels and go get a new producer who can just take a fresh approach to that show. Is he still alive? Yeah. Lorne. Well, yeah, he's still alive. Yeah, but I mean, you know, and, and, how old was that show? It was what from the early seventies. Started in nineteen seventy-five. It's uh, what is it? Forty-five years old. Going on. Wow. Maybe it's going started on. Started in nineteen seventy-five. Going on hundred. Seventy-five. Yeah. Bring back John Bellucci. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, wish they could. But yeah, that's when the show was good. But you know, I mean, he also, uh, Lorne Michaels also has the Tonight Show. That's his, and he also has uh, the show that comes after Late Night with Seth Meyers. Uh, so, so like when the Tonight Show was Johnny Carson Productions, 
And then it was, uh, uh, what's his name, Jay Leno. Uh, now the guy who's doing The Tonight Show, I don't stay up that late, but the guy who's doing The Tonight Show doesn't own the rights to, to the deal like, the, like no. Carson did? No. no. Oh, he's fucked. <laughs> well, he, he, here's an interesting thing. Um, Carson came on, and then Letterman came on after Carson. Mm -hmm. Okay. Carson owned half of the Letterman show. What? Yeah. He owned what? half of the Letterman show. He, he got them to pay him for the first half hour of the Letterman show. Wow. And the reason being that he said, my lead-in is going to make that show popular. Okay. He's probably right. And he was right. He said, so yeah. if you're going to put a show on after me, I want to own half of it. Mm -hmm. And so they gave nice. him half of it. Um, but there was something else. If you go back and watch the old David Letterman shows at NBC, he only did three jokes in the monologue. Why is that? And then sat down <laughs> at the desk. Because Johnny didn't want him to do a full monologue. Uh, he could only do three jokes, so they picked out three jokes, told him, and then he sat down and continued telling more jokes at the table. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, that was, that was you know, but Johnny, he loved Johnny. He loved Johnny. Uh, Johnny was very good to him and, and believed in his talent as well. I even loved Johnny, and he stole my I, first girlfriend. In fact, it was Johnny who, uh, who, who, who uh, told... Um, it was Johnny who told Letterman when he was going through that whole brouhaha with NBC because Leno had been given the show. He was the one who told Letterman, go to CBS. Mm -hmm. And he said, but I want the Tonight Show. He said, there is no Tonight Show anymore. You go to CBS, mm -hmm. make your own way in the world. He went over there and he was very successful at CBS. He, mm -hmm. he, he was, he, it, Leno was number one uh, but uh, <laughs> I love what Letterman did. Le Leno uh, took out a big billboard in, Man in Times Square so you could see it from uh, the uh, Ed Sullivan Theater that said, <laughs> Jay Leno, number one in late night. And uh, so Letterman took out a sign across the street from it, just as big, that read, David Letterman, Number two in late night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Very cute. But it, it, the problem was, Leno took that ad out in a place where when they would shoot in the front of the, uh, of, of the, of the, the theater, theater, you know, doing stuff and so on, they'd have to kind of shoot around it because it was right there, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, but... Uh, uh, <laughs> What was it? There was some some joke about that he had about Leno, but I can't remember now. Um, but anyway, uh, that 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 was a that was a great fight in late night. I love that. Yeah. You know, I wish we had that now. Now instead, we've got we've got a fight of the Jimmies. Yeah. yeah. You know, Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy um, Kim. Kimmel, yeah. and uh, well, Stephen Colbert. But then you got uh, you got James uh, Corden. Yeah. Uh, so you got a lot of Jimmys in late night. You got to be a Jimmy. I'm tired of these phony English accents that these guys put on. <laughs> yeah. And then the phony English accents that you hear on the advertisements, like it makes it sound like it's so upper crust. You know, I have watched on a couple of occasions. Yeah. Fallon. That yeah. is the most embarrassing fucking show on television. He oh. is terrible. Just terrible. Who who was the one that was on the Man Show? That's Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel. Okay, he, now, he worked for Kimmel, my wife's cousin. Kimmel Kimmel runs a pretty good show. Uh, he ex -wife. Uh, huh? Yeah. He she, he worked in for my ex wife's cousin because they they were the producers of the Man Show. Mm -hmm. But anyway, Stone Stanley. Yeah. Anyway, he uh, he did uh, a, 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 you know he does a pretty good job of doing a traditional late night show like Letterman. Yeah. You know, and um, I, I really like what Kimmel does. I think he's uh, he's every time I watch him, he's thoroughly entertaining. Yeah. But uh, uh, you know, 
Uh, Colbert, eh. God, I don't know. How do you watch those shows? Aren't they up against Gabnet? Uh, I, uh, I, uh, watch them on YouTube. Yeah, well, oh, you record them. Yeah. Well, I have, I have ways of getting TV shows, any TV show I want. Yeah. I yeah. watch them on YouTube. Hmm? I yeah. watch them on YouTube. You watch them on YouTube? They always play I mean, let me see. Is it, have I got anything that's being recorded? Oh, okay. I got a couple of shows being recorded. I have something that automatically goes and gets them. You know, what happened was years ago, I, I, I had, a, you know, I had cable and I would record shows. But it, it, the, there was something wrong with the cable in our building. And if you would watch it, every about five seconds, it would glitch. So I call up the cable company and I go, it glitches. And they go... Well, we can't figure out what would be, what it would be. And I kept calling them. This went on for months. And finally, one day, I said, I am sick and tired of having to watch these TV shows glitching. So I learned about torrents, okay? And I went online and started downloading all the shows I wanted to watch and could sit there and watch them. And on top of that, uh, the commercials have been cut out of them, okay? <laughs> I'm afraid to do torrents because you can right. download uh, viruses as well along with the torrent. Never got one. Never. No. Not once. You wore a condom? Right. No, but here's the thing. I, I didn't feel guilty about it in the least. I was paying to see those shows. I just couldn't. Okay? Yeah. Finally, one day, I'm, I'm constantly calling the cable company. I mean, it's driving me crazy. You know, it's kind of like I want them to believe that something is wrong. Well, nobody else is complaining in your building, and boom, I'm going. Yeah. It's glitching. All right. So you tell finally, them that nobody else is complaining because they they're call, all stealing. Cable? Finally, they called me and said, "We're sending somebody out to your apartment house." They said, "Why?" I said, "We got a second complaint." <laughs> so they send somebody out. It turns out, you know, some people. I'll notice this because it'll drive me nuts. Other people figure it's just the way tv is right you know yeah. so what happened was they come out and they check and the line because you know all these cable have lines and the line in the apartments like i think i was l so it was the l line they went down to the basement and there was water all over the cable and that's what was causing the problem because water had leaked into the in the, in the system this went on for months i remember that was the second complaint you disguising your voice? <laughs> it should have been. That would have been a good idea, <laughs> Phil. Next time I'll have to try that. But anyway, With the English highbrow accent? Anyway, so I, I, I just, you know, I, I got used to getting downloading these shows and watching them without commercials. So, yes, I admit it. I download torrent TV shows, you know. Uh, I, I limit myself to TV shows because they go over the air in the first place. And also, now I don't even need to do that any longer because I have Hulu without commercials, you know. So a lot of those shows I just, I just watch off of Hulu, you know, so. Yeah. No. No, I get it. Uh, but I'm, I'm still afraid to download torrents. Actually, I want less, uh, uh, less tech in my life. You know, I, I want to make things easier, but it's it's hard. You know, everything you do and you're clicking the mouse and you're doing all this stuff. Why, why can't I just, you know, well, go I, back to I an had, answering machine? I, I had one problem after another. Uh, today, I was having, uh, I uh, unplugged something, so all my hard drives went out uh, that I have yeah. attached to this thing. And then I, I had an echo in the sound, but that's because I... I flipped something when I was making the video thing, and oh, it's just. When so, you unplug a hard drive from a Mac, it tells you that you did it wrong. You didn't properly eject it. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, and, and that fucks you up, too. So I had a whole lineup of those things, because somewhere along the line when I was trying to put in a USB thing, it undid the USB that I had. And it, so I, I, all day long I've been trying to, but, but it's working. Yeah. It's been working perfectly. I have no problem, um, yeah. but uh, well, if, I wonder if nobody's going to call. If I'm going to just call. All right, so we're right. officially chopped liver. 
no, I'm trying to keep going here, but nobody's yeah. calling. You know, this is one of the reasons I'm thinking about whether I should continue doing this. You know, uh, there seems to be a lack of enthusiasm. Although, you know what? We mm -hmm. have more people watching us right now than have ever watched us at mm. one it time. It seems like it picks up on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. No. Tuesday seems yeah. like yeah, maybe the beginning I of the week. It's because I can't, I can't even shut the show down even if I wanted to. I've got 40 people watching it. <laughs> they yeah. they want to see if uh, Tony's going to keel over because he's now 50. You know? yeah. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Here comes somebody. Who is oh, this? Somebody's coming. Who is this? Uh, tax man. Um, who is this calling? Oh, it's Smooty. Oh, okay. Uh, Hold on. Let me let me turn down the volume. Yeah, but why aren't you Skyping in? Oh, fuck. I'm having all kinds of issues because I'm a computer retard. Really? You, you can't make oh, Skype Smoothie. work? Oh, tur tur turn down your audio. I am. I did. Thank you. This is a ex-girlfriend, ladies and gentlemen. Or I hate to say ex-girlfriend. That sounds like a <laughs> and a true blonde. Thank you. Just a dollar a day will help me. Maybe yeah, well, two or three. Well, I always liked brunettes, and I always liked short brunettes. And you were six foot eight or something. I don't know. You were an Amazon. Amazon. A a Amazon blonde. <laughs> you know. Yeah, but you know what? Nothing ever happened to you when we were together, right? Thank you. Right. Nobody fucked. She was your protection. <laughs> well, yeah, but occasionally. No, you know what? And I remember, you know, you remember the last live show, your jackass bodyguard was coming on to me. Oh, you should be a bodyguard, this and that. You know, I should have fucking nut punched him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had he offers a, you a I job did. and you're going to kick him in the nuts? I had a bodyguard. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was rude. No, he, you know, he won, he won, he wanted to give me a job. All right. <laughs> Yeah, but well, the thing is that I didn't need a body. I don't know why I had a bodyguard because whenever I was with you, I had one. You know. Yeah. Yeah. She, you, you, she. I'll tell you what she did once. This is this is amazing. This is you know this is me. Okay, so you know, you know what to expect out of me. Uh, I, uh, I I move into an apartment, and, uh, or I get a TV set or something. Big TV set. What was it? It was. It was like a 27-inch TV set. You remember how heavy those things were? Oh, yeah. She just picks the fucking thing up and walks it up the stairs. Yeah. She just worked for just, UPS? Yeah, she worked for UPS. She did that all the time, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, actually, no, I was management. We didn't touch packages. <laughs> but to get to management, didn't you have to uh, load trucks, drive truck? and? Oh, yeah, I stuff? started out unloading. Yeah. 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 So anyway, so so the thing was that um, yeah, um, she, uh, she 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 was great. Like I needed furniture moved. Hey, could you move that over here, Schmoody? And you know, I had a built-in. Uh, um, uh, you would have liked your Charlie at your part place where you're setting everything up. You know, <laughs> she was good at that. Well, remember furniture. when we set up when we set up the second apartment and we went to what was it? Gruskin Scrommens or whatever that Norwegian place was. Yeah. And I put together all those, uh, all the little cupboards. Well, we also had, I also got big desks, big, really good, big oh. desks. Uh, yep. And, and we I put, love that we put those together, you know, so it's group and Scrobben or whatever the name was. Whatever uh, it was. Was, the was that Norwegian the place on place. Van Ness? No, 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 uh, no. This was over in Marin County. Oh, yeah, and we got a truck. We just she put them all in the truck and took them. She she lifted these big plate pallets of of, of I it was, it was wonderful to have somebody who could do all the hard lifting. Okay, <laughs> in my little Mazda mini truck, and I remember it was you, me, and Irish Greg, and we got pulled over because you know the thing was really only a two seater. It didn't have seat belts for three, and Irish Greg was in the middle, and I got a ticket because he didn't have a seat belt. Oh, really? Did you get a ticket? Yeah, it was hilarious. What, I'll tell you. Did Alex but, claim German Shepherd? You know, <laughs> so that the... Uh... Well, here was what she and I like to do for fun. You, you're probably thinking, what, right? Moody? <laughs> for fun. 
We used to like to encourage road rage in others. Man, it was the best. Yeah. <laughs> and there was this... Especially that jackass that pulled over with his stupid dog. Yeah, well, this this was the best I one. I didn't pull over. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is, the, this is the best one. Uh... Uh, this guy is like, what, what do you do? Did he pull in front of me or, or back of me? Or yeah. Something? And we're, I'm flipping him off. You're flipping him off. And he's, he's like flipping you off. Bitch, I'm going to kick your ass. And finally, I go, move over. Go over to the side of the road. Let's pull over to the side of the road and have it out. So he goes over to the side of the road, and he pulls there and stops his car. And I zoom right past him and go. So, uh, <laughs> and my... the dog just looked at us, and we were dying laughing. The dog was looking at us like, "This guy's a real asshole." Thank you for doing that. Okay. <laughs> oh, it was the best. One time, I I was driving in New York. I was up by the uh, the circle uh, to go to Bear Mountain off nine. Yeah. And uh, uh, this guy, uh, I you know, I wanted to get around him. He wouldn't let me get around him. I give him the finger. He, he says, come on, pull over. So I pull over. He pulls over. And this guy's in a little BMW 2002 or 1900, a very small car. This guy had to unfold himself to get out of that thing. He was so big. <laughs> <laughs> he got out of the car, and I said, I'm out of here. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, we, we, we used to have some, uh, we, had, we had some good times. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I know, you know, everybody was so shocked when they first met me because I was so out of the norm for, the for kind someone of, you would oh, yeah, yeah, be with. Yeah, no, you were, you, you were not small. <laughs> no. You know, I no. liked women I could, when having sex, could roll up in a little ball and fuck, okay? And you were not that kind of thing. No, I you was were, a big frog. You, you, you were a mountain I had to climb, you know. Yep. You know, yeah. <laughs> But, uh, uh, you know, you know we have, she, the thing was that what I like best about you is that I had a lot of fun with you. Because you were, you, it was, yes. you were like having a pal, a guy pal. You totally. Had, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I would want, we'd be laying in bed and you'd be playing video games and, and I, you know, I would just watch you play. And man, it was hilarious. Mm-hmm. And then you'd look at me as you're cussing at the game, and you'd look at me, and you're like, you're enjoying this, aren't you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 And it was nice, because you could be in one room, and I could be in the other, but it was all good. Yeah. Yeah. It was fine. The only thing was, once you got really mad at me, and it scared the shit out of me. Yeah. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) So anyway, so why can't you get your Skype to work? I don't know because I'm blonde. You just turn. Ooh, maybe you, this is. Wait. Ooh, it says starting. Sign in for chat. Fuck, I'm already signed wait in. Wait a minute. Have you, got, have, you got, have you got Skype up? Because you're on, I do have Skype You're on your up. phone right now, right? Yeah, I'm on my phone, except I'm going to have to go downstairs and get my stupid password to Skype. I had Skype up, <laughs> but now I'm on my phone. But, you know, I just went to your what is a citizen panel? And it says, oh, call GabNet. And so watch, it's going to say, sign in, and I'm going to have to go, son of a bitch. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If you, wait, if you, oh. do, you already have the, the program up, right? I thought I did, but now it's telling me to sign in. So oh, I'm I like, see. Okay, well, what, what's your password? What, what, do you know what your password is? Yeah, I'm going to tell you over the air what my password is. What, no, what, I'm going to have to run downstairs. Well, run downstairs it. and get it. We want to see if we can see you. At least uh, then we can get okay. your Skype working. You know, okay, but, but give keep, me a minute. Keep the phone, you know, there. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's up to my ear. I'm going downstairs. Oh, my okay. son's going to be like, you what the hell's going on? You never want to sign into that chat. They're, they're weird, kind of like, you know, lepers. They're not <laughs> lepers. Ew. <laughs> oh, gee, we're down to 37 people. It's now. Alex, Sean. I can't believe how many seat. people we had at one time here, and we're not, what are we talking about? Nothing. No. We're having yep. some, somebody we're a show a about nothing. We're, we're having her Skype uh, working, you know. Well, uh, the reason I yeah. want to see her on Skype is because I haven't seen her in. Since but, she moved in 2003. Yeah, yeah. So, that, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. So sad. 
<laughs> we haven't seen each other in about 15, 16 years. She had a kid. Yeah, we spoke over the weekend. <clears throat> she had a kid. How old's the kid now? 13. He'll be 14 next month, and he's already taller than I am. Wow. Wow. But you know what? When it comes to movies, Alex, he's so far above me. The day he had turned to me one day and he saw, guess what movie Ivan Reichman first directed? And I was like, oh, shit, dude, I'm lost. Tell me who. And, you know, he can watch a movie and he'll listen to the score and he'll say, oh, that's Danny Elfman. Oh, that's Hans Zimmer. First movie that Ivan Reitman ever directed oh, was that's I think, unemployable. I think it was Animal House, wasn't it? Was it? I think. Um, I'm sure my son would know. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. I think it was. But yeah. Signing into Skype. No, so uh, please uh, wait. The, oh, do you have your 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 password? Yeah, I put it in. It's all. Please. Why does it keep saying please sign in, you a holes? Just that's your password. Hijo de puta. I did. Did you? Uh, I don't know what's going on. Did you put it in the... pissing me off. Did you put it in there? Yeah, I did. Hmm. Oh, wait. It says loading. Yeah. Fuck, I don't know. Loading, loading. Come on now. Loading, loading. And nothing. Welcome. It says... Welcome back, Kathleen Halstead. All right, there you go. Now, you see it there? Is it up? Have you got it up? Well, is she a fluffer? No. Yeah. No. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Did, did, Very funny. I got that. Did, did you get to the main screen? Um. Hold on. <laughs> Shit, you know what? It's still saying loading. Really? What if I ever see Gates, I'm going to punch him. It, well, I mean, it could be your computer is, you know. I'm sure. But it, it's your computer from 2003? No. No, it's Hal from 2001. <laughs> Space Odyssey. I know. You know, I still have that one that I got, um, Luigi. Mm-hmm. That you wanted, you wanted to trade me Toshiba Bob for him, and that was like circa 1997. Oh, wow. I mean, how old is this computer? This one's just this year. Oh, okay. Well, it should be sprightly enough. Welcome to... back, Kathleen. Loading. Well, come on. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. It's just sitting there lo lo loading. Well, no, these people have the same problem anyway. So, um, um, you still live? Well, in, you know what? I'll keep trying. You still live in, in uh, where? Stockton or where I'm was it? I'm, no, Tracy, I'm Tracy. still in the same house. Really? Yep, it's almost paid off. Woohoo! <laughs> we mean after all these years? It's kind of like my credit card. I just paid it off, too. Uh, you know, 20 years or 19, it'll be 19 this year. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you got, you, you improved it. It had a guy, you had a swimming pool put in and everything like that. Yeah. You know? I mean, I bought it for two fifteen, and it's worth almost 600. It's stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I you, you know, my, my wife bought a, a condo here in New York. Uh, Oh geez. Yeah. No, she, they, they, the apartment house went condo, or was it co-op? I think it was condo. Right, co-op. Anyway, she got it for like about two hundred, one hundred and fifty, twenty-five thousand dollars, and it now crap. it's now worth about four hundred thousand. It just That's you know ridiculous. because prices in Manhattan went sky high, you know. And the rent, you know, it's not just the 400000 The rents today are far in excess of the cost of owning. So if you were to sell it for four hundred, whoever would buy it would be paying less for the mortgage and the dues than they'd have to pay for the rent at today's rental rates. Yeah, although... Wow, that's insane. She rents it out. Uh, yeah. But it, it's not that high. I mean, I, I think... Uh, 2500 something like that she gets for it. Uh, uh, 
four hundred thousand, really? you pay a lot less than twenty five hundred for the mortgage. Well, for the mortgage. Oh no, she no, she's she is within. She's how much did she say she had left? I was almost willing to take it out of my pocket. Uh, she has about twenty five hundred dollars left to pay off. On wow. The yeah. Yeah, I'm so proud That's of her. Nothing. She said it was the, the the luckiest thing she ever did. She never made a good business deal in her life, but this one made up for all of them. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm so happy. You know, her. my 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 brother Mike and his wife, um, they both work for Industrial Light and Magic and they bought their house and it's on Grove Street in San Francisco. And I want to say they bought it, it had to have been like 2003, and they got it for maybe 600000 Like, And it's in a Victorian with an illegal in law unit, which is my brother's man cave. And I think it's worth uh, close to $3 million. Oh, yeah, those, yeah. those Victorians? Oh, that's going to be big. Victor- time, Victorians, folks, in case you don't know what we're talking about, are a certain kind of house. I don't know. How do you describe them, uh, Phil? They're, uh, I mean, it's uh, well v- from the Victorian times, the 1890s, uh, pre earthquake. Yeah. Uh, they had uh, uh, rounded windows and turrets and uh, right, uh, and uh, you know a lot of filigree, 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 filigree. Uh, yeah. uh, style of uh, architecture. So, there was always steps leading up to them. Uh, yeah. and, they have fireplaces and, and, and then you, the front, yeah. you got in the front door, and then you had to walk up another flight of steps. In well, fact, it depends I, on which unit you I, were. I remember the some of, of those upper. some of those Victorians that I was in. They actually had a uh, uh, at the top of the of the staircase inside. They had a handle, and you would pull the handle; it would open up the door downstairs. So you didn't have to oh. walk down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, those things. And there was a time when they were going for nothing. I mean, nothing, you could nothing. you could Nobody buy them. you could buy, yeah. buy them fifty for grand. Some. Yeah, yeah, and grand. and that's in nice neighborhoods. Yeah, my grandparents owned one, and got rid of it. Uh, mm. But I mean, they were considered eyesores. I mean, I know that sounds ridiculous. In the hate, All you right. could buy those things. You know, like five thousand yeah. square foot yeah. uh, Victorians. You could buy them for thirty five thousand dollars back in the day. Yeah. Uh, who who is oh there you are there she oh, is I had a to walk the bench. there she okay, is okay, wait a minute hang up. Uh, yeah hang up there and and uh, uh, just hope that, that we have uh, audio on you and uh, let's see here Bob Kazu there we go there we go uh, say something okay Kathy. okay, oh, okay. I uh, okay say something to see if you got yeah audio we got on her we got her we got her. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye bye. Okay, I can hear her. Yeah. Okay. Now move your camera so we can see a little more of your head is like down at the bottom of the frame. Just move your camera. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? She can't hear me. She can't hear you. No, she can't hear me. No. Shmoody, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh. Yay. Okay. Good. Now do me a favor. Uh, move your camera so we can see a little more of you. You're like down there at the bottom of the frame. There we go. There's the massive woman I once knew. Uh, <laughs> she can beat Phil. Yes, I oh, can hear oh, you. Oh, 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 she could take. She could take all four of us at one time. Yeah. I'll just throw myself on the ground and give up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, that's pretty much the schmoody sh- I remember. You, you know, you've aged okay, kiddo. Wait a minute. We're, all of a sudden, we lost I'm your sh- voice. You talk, talk to us. Yeah. Okay, okay. There we are. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, anyway. So, now we, we have her uh, actually here. Um, um, so... Um, we should, is, 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 is the computer have a, a laptop or is it a... Yeah, I have a laptop, but you know what's weird is I'm getting an echo. Well, don't worry about it right now. We got we solved most away. of the problems, okay. you know, as long as you can understand what I'm saying, you know, that's all that matters. Anyway. Um, um, yeah. Yeah, and I, I'd say echo, but then my my device would start... Oh, yeah, she'll talk. If I go like, Echo, what time is it? I love that thing. I do that in the morning. Yeah. I have I have a new one here right by the desk here. It's wonderful. The S&P 500 uh, was down $36 today. So anyway, 
So, um, uh, 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 by the way, uh, uh, Phil is a big fan, Schmoody, of uh, Donald Trump. In fact, if Donald Trump walked <clears throat> into his apartment house right now, he would suck his dick. I don't know about that, but I'd put my hat on, you know. I'd, I'd wear my Trump hat. You'd wear your Trump hat? Oh, yeah. Mm. So maybe he'd sign it. He's him. I think he's starting to waver, Phil. Yeah, he's Ooh, losing. Trump? He's, he's losing. losing. You get I'm little. certainly not wavering. Yeah. Come on, Rudy is, Rudy is in panic mode. Huh? What? Rudy's in panic mode. Phil's starting to see something's going to happen, I think. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's all going south. Tony, you're like those kids in the cafeteria. When somebody drops their tray, you're there cheering them on. Don't be a bully. Uh, let, let the man have due process. If he's guilty, it'll be found that way. If he's not guilty, I, I don't uh, want to. I don't, wa I don't want to give him due process, Phil. I'll tell you why. I'll give anybody due process. You're a socialist. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you oh. why I don't want to give him due process is because he keeps talking about not giving other people due process. Like, uh, if true. we find out who this... Uh, he's he's this, letting those guys this, out of jail early. This you guy know, is he's a, doing this prison guy, reform. This guy who, who blew the whistle on me is a spy, and you know what we used to do to spies? Benedict Arnold. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I hang him high. Wait, wait, wait she's, <laughs> I think she's plugging in somewhere else here. Here we go. Uh, let's see here. Can you hear me better now? Much better, yeah. Oh, okay. See, I, I notice, Alex, you keep pulling your thing out and putting it back in. Put Use some ear gene, that shit I sent no, you. No, that isn't the reason why. These things uh, have a tendency to lose their their um, stuff. Rip. So I got, I got to put some new ones in. Just in try the ear gene. No, I don't want to make a difference. It. Okay, wait a minute. Where's the air gene? I had it here. Yeah, yeah you need a Q-tip. Oh, do I got to do a Q-tip too. Well, I'll do that. Well, how are you going to get it out of the bottle into your ear? Yes, there it went. I'll figure out a way. All right, <laughs> I'm, I'm good about at it anyway. Uh, so, uh, no, I, you know, I mean, I, he talks about you know, we'll shoot people who were who are, you know, spies and blah blah blah. He, believe me, he doesn't know what the meaning of due process is. And then he says yeah. he wants to meet his accuser. That's reasonable, but they can't meet the, uh, Whistle, the whistleblower. whistleblower. There are whistleblower yeah. laws. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, the guy's hiding behind uh, the laws instead of facing his... Uh, adversary and truthfully what, saying, hey, what, I'm really what, partisan what did Kimmel, and, I'm, what and did, I'm pulling yeah. another uh, Blasey Ford thing and, uh, you know, I'm going to I'm going to attack you from uh, behind the tree. But, yeah, but you what, can't what see did me. what did Kimmel say uh, that got him bleeped? He said, uh, yeah, um, uh, yeah, he's uh, and they bleeped him. He said he uh, t Trump doesn't like the fact that he got a whistle blow job. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Fair enough. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm sure it is in, in, some, in some world. Yeah. Um, oh, by the way, did you, did you see the Justice Department okayed the merger to create the country's largest newspaper company? What is it? Scott Tissue. Huh? Scott Tissue. Uh, no. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, Gannett, Charmin already News. the largest newspaper chain in the U.S. by circulation, and New Media's great, great gatehouse media, the New York Post, reports a $1.4 billion deal to create the country's largest newspaper company. Wow. Now, Gannett is uh, San Jose, uh, the San Jose paper? I can't remember what they own down there. It doesn't yeah. give a list of their holdings, except they do mention here the New York Post, which used to be owned by Murdoch. Mm. He got rid of it quite a few years ago, I think. Yeah. Um, now, uh, it says that NBC News is bracing for jaw-dropping allegations. Uh, Ronan Farrow has a new book out. Oh. Uh, my, my dad, Woody. <laughs> Catch and kill. No, my dad, Frank. That you kidding me? <laughs> Uh, catch and Kill, Lies, Spies, and a Conspiracy to Protect Predators hits the shelves on October 15th. And they're gonna, it says the book is expected to delve into Matt Lauer's relationships with the younger staffers. 
as well as the network's alleged decision not to complete Farrow's investigation into Harvey Weinstein. You remember yeah. they were doing, he was doing a thing for MSNBC on they Harvey Weinstein, and they dropped it. And part of the reason they dropped it was at the time, at least according to them, at the time that he wanted to put this on the air, he really didn't have the, it wasn't, he couldn't it vet it vetted. properly. Yeah. So he went over to the New Yorker and he got it, or New York, was it New York or New Yorker? New York. New Yorker. Uh, New, Yorker. New Yorker. I it was New Yorker. New Yorker. And, and there he did his job of vetting and then they published it. But uh, MSNBC was simply being, and NBC were being de cautious. You know, cautious about the whole thing. Because Which is rare. After all, well, no, if you're going to take a guy like Weinstein, accuse him of the horrible things that he was accused of, Okay, uh, I, you know, I'm telling you. Um, but but he deserves due process, but Trump does not. Who, Weinstein? He's getting due yeah. process. That's what impeachment is. Well, I believe in an eye and an eye for and a tooth for a tooth, so uh, he, he should uh, be forced to fuck some ugly women. Uh, you know. You know, Charlie, it, impeachment is where the full House votes to have an impeachment. But uh, okay, look, look. all they have is an inquiry. These are terms. Yeah, well, okay. they're doing the investigation. No, this is, there's no vote. No, wait a minute. Terms? The, the, there's no the, vote. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The term impeachment really means indictment. Okay? Yeah. So you're indicted by the Senate, I mean, by the Congress, and then you are tried in the Senate. Okay? Um. Yeah, Which, but you do an investigation before you get indicted. Well, yeah, and you get yeah. an investigation before yeah, you get so impeached. Let them investigate. But the indictment and the process. indictment only has to be enough that you say that uh, we have enough information here that there's probable cause that he did this. Okay, yeah, the, but I believe that this whole thing was a setup. The whistleblower, all yeah. of this stuff came out uh, weeks ago uh, when they first decided to do their impeachment hearings, and uh, th this was all pre premeditated, set up, just like uh, oh, they they ran all of those okay. women by those Schmoody, two women Schmoody, hit by him. Kavanaugh. Hit him. Oh, come on, some has to be true. Do no? me a favor, hit him. Can Nothing's you hear me, okay, Schmoody? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear oh, you. Oh, okay. I'm still getting that echo, so I'm just paying attention to you guys when you guys talk. Yeah, I'll so try this. Echo, echo, echo. Otherwise, echo, I feel echo. like I'm on acid. Yeah. <laughs> echo, 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 echo. We'll try to we'll try to figure that one out later. Maybe we'll I'll give you a call this week and we'll now that you know how to use Skype and we'll yes. work it out because we'd love to have you on the show because you're a woman. That would be awesome. You're a woman and you could take Phil to the woodshed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I'm an armed person. Huh? Yeah, I mean, well, he, he, yeah, you're armed. Yeah, he was a he was a he was a rent a cop. Oh, you got a tattoo? Wait a minute. Yes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh no. Let me. Oh, let, what does the tattoo say? It says nothing. It's just roses. Oh, I see. Okay, well, that's not bad. You no. know. No, I mean, it could be worse. You know. Yeah. What inspired you to get a tattoo? I don't know. Is, is that the only tattoo? No. <laughs> 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 Where else do you have a tattoo? Well, and then I have my son's name right here. Oh, okay. Oh, now, you, but you see that that makes sense. You see, because yeah. that that that's a name that. For instance, that's a name you will be able to have on your wrist for the rest of your life, and it will always have meaning. On the other hand, my wife has one on her ankle that says, Buddy. <laughs> buddy? Buddy. That's, I knew a comedian that used to write the city that he was in on the inside of his palm so he wouldn't make a mistake and say, Oh, it's great to be... In Oakland, <laughs> right. But what what I'm saying what I'm saying is is that she 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 has Buddy, and and my feeling is that I would really like to one night you know get one of those things that they say it's like a like an erase thing you can use on tattoos, and they slowly while she's asleep like keep putting Queen it on on on, on, on Why don't you Buddy. add add one word, 
love after the buddy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Buddy love. Yeah, and then, <laughs> and, then, and then take a picture of it and show it to your friend. Well, I just, I just, you know, I, I never got a tattoo because. It, what, what, You're uh, Jewish. It, I, well, I wouldn't get a tattoo with somebody's name you on it. Care. Okay, because, it, come on, once you break up with the person, what do you do? You know? Uh, yeah. I think, uh, who was it? Who was the actress that had some problems with that? She went out and had work done to cover it up and so on. Oh, we know the writer, I think. Elizabeth Taylor? Uh, no, <laughs> Elizabeth <laughs> Taylor. Yeah, she was a tattoo freak. Yeah. yeah well, she had eight husbands. <laughs> Now did that hurt oh to God. do that? And then she'd have uh, that hurt. Time. That hurt to do that, Schmitty? Was it Brad Pitt's uh, ex? I think so. Yeah. yeah it was Angelina. Wasn't she married Maybe. to? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She was married to Billy Bob Thornton. Yes. And she Whoa, had yeah. she had that Angelina one. Jolie, right? She had that it's one. Too. Shall we say yes. written over and adapted so that it no longer said Billy Bob Thornton. My Rolfer had a uh, dragonfly put on his uh, thing on his arm uh, a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. and he doesn't like it, and uh, he, he feels buyer's remorse. You know, he, he said he thought that he was going to get uh, something that was going to be well, fairly sophisticated. Yeah, yeah, but you get something like this, and it is permanent. I mean, yeah. you know, you're going to have it for the rest of your life, and I don't know that I could ever commit to that. He's thinking yeah. about getting it removed, and it's, it's only been yeah. a couple of weeks. I knew the first woman I ever met that had a tattoo is on her uh, bikini line. Mm -hmm. She had Picasso's signature. Really? And yeah. yeah. That I don't understand. Uh, well, no, because then she told everybody, my, my, my vagina yes, has been signed by Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to you, it was the first woman I ever knew with a tattoo. There's a lot of Picasso fakes out there. Yeah, there are a lot of Picasso. Yeah. But uh, it was kind of amazing. Knock it off. Huh? What do you... What, what, who, I'm being attacked by my cat. One of my cats. Uh, wait, you got a cat? Oh, oh, oh. oh a big... Uh, that's a huge cat. No, actually, she's not that big. There's one that's far... Compared to who? Well, she has or to get big cats. In Trump world. Because in her house, Alex, between Trump her and her world, son, the cats look pussy. small. What? Yes. What did you say, uh, uh, Tony? Oh. In Trump world, it's a big pussy. Yeah. Oh, Not only God. when you grab them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let me see here. Anything um, else happening in the news? Uh, that woman, the, uh, the woman who shot the guy... What, female oh, cop? cop? Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's not bad looking. She's done. <laughs> well, she's got she a nice body, good. too. Uh, she's not going to be available for the rest of her life. So don't. Oh, did they, did they, uh, the jury uh, turn they in? They found her guilty of murder. Yeah. She's yeah. convicted. Yeah. Uh, manslaughter or murder? Murder. Murder. Wow, that's going to be five to 55, I think. Something like that. Oh, my that. God, who's yeah. that? So she could be out in two and a half. That's true, yeah. Uh, that's Wait a minute, weren't they supposed to sentence her later today? Wait, let me see here. What, where, what, where would that be? What was her name? Where um, was it? Uh, look up cop, uh, woman cop shooter. Woman cop, woman Was cop, that the one who went uh, to the wrong shooter. house? Oh, the guy's yeah. name was yeah. John. Yeah. Something John. I, I, I think she looked like a postal. I think what the problem was, I think she was drunk. Yeah, she no, was she was coming home from her 15-hour shift, and she was sex texting with her boyfriend, who was another yeah, cop. On the phone doing yeah. something in, in the yeah. video. It said the ju uh, uh, let's see here, a police uh, officer guilty, but uh, it doesn't say that uh, the jurors have been deliberating. It doesn't say anything about the sentencing. No, the jury largely comprised of women, blah 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 blah, people. Who, and uh, pe and people of color Tuesday afternoon. To One be Asian, women. four blacks. She uh, faces anywhere from five to ninety-nine years in prison. Boy, that's yeah. a crap shoot, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. How, yeah. How do you go from yeah. five to ninety-nine? Huh? How do you I don't think it was premeditated. I think there's going to be an appeal. You know, because she walked in. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, she's yanked out. I don't think it was premeditated. I don't think there's any way they can give her first-degree murder. Why'd she go to kill him though? She was uh, why? scared. Because he was sitting on her sofa eating ice cream. Wouldn't you kill him? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And no. she's a cop. Oh no, I mean, God. it was exactly. his. 
exactly. It was his That's apartment. Scary. She, she walked in the door person. thinking it was her apartment, and there was a big red rug at the as a doormat. Yeah. Which obviously it couldn't have been her apartment. Okay. Her apartment. And yeah. she went in. She thought it was somebody in her apartment, and she shot him. Oh. Well, so you know, point blank I, and body mass. I, I did cop work for twenty years. I mm-hmm. carried, I've carried a gun now for 35 or maybe longer, mm-hmm. and uh, the thing is, I, I, you know, I never, even if I walked into the wrong apartment, mm-hmm. and I see somebody sitting on the sofa, and I see their hands, because one of them's on a spoon, and the other one's, uh, you know, uh, holding the ice cream container, you don't shoot the guy, you yeah, just say, on. okay, don't move, and you, you sort it out. And, you know, unless the guy makes furtive, furtive movements to you in, in a way and you see a weapon or you, he's coming at you to take your weapon, you don't do anything. Uh, you know, yeah. even I know that. Yeah, but, but uh, anyway, I mean, I, if, if indeed it was a, a drunken mistake on her part, you know, I do. She wasn't drunk. She was on her way home from work. Well, then there was something, she, there was some reason. I mean, how do you. I know and that I've done I've done 15 hour shifts and I'm not that loopy. It's pretty hard to mistake shift. your apartment when you've gone into it many, many times. You know, um, I'm trying to think, has there ever been a situation where I've actually walked in, tried to walk into the wrong door, maybe in a hotel room? That's about yeah, it. You don't know which you way know. you turn to the elevator in a hotel. Yeah. But, you know, hey, I, I live in a place with 100 units and uh you know, I, I'm on the third floor. I've never walked into the to the wrong floor. Right. You know. Right. Yes, Shmoody had a, had her hand. Because number one, Alex, when have you ever been drunk? <laughs> well, that's yeah. true. Thank that's you. True. I, the, she wasn't drunk. I'm sure after this, there was a tox, toxicology test to determine oh. if she was under the influence or drunk, and that hadn't come up as a as a factor. So she wasn't drunk. Yeah. Uh, she and high on sex. Maybe that was probably what was going on, you know. She, was, she couldn't wait to get into the bedroom, you know. Yeah. Yep. What are you doing here? She was too busy. Bang, bang, te- get out of my way. She was too busy texting. Wait till you smell my pussy, you know. I right. mean, <laughs> things like that, you know. That's scary. Um, yeah. So I I don't know. Uh, it's, oh, anyway, um, uh, let me see here. So um, uh, Schmoody has a has a thirteen year old kid. I can't believe this, you know. I, know. <laughs> I mean, God, you know. She was with she me. Get she was mitzvah? with me. She was with me the, the day of my last show uh, yeah. on, on Live 105. Yeah. And then yeah. we got in on a plane immediately. Went right to the Oakland airport and got on a plane and went to uh, went to Vegas because I wanted to get away from San Francisco so the press wouldn't yeah. be hounding me, which they were. Yeah. Uh, so you were there. You were there on a very um, um, auspicious moment. Auspicious moment in my career. Yeah. Well, you know what? I was thinking about that the other night. Um, really? <laughs> yes, I was. I was thinking about it the other night, saying, you know, sometimes we're put into people's lives for a reason. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. Yeah, and and she and I, you you and I were really not going with each other at that point. I don't think we were just really close. Oh yeah, I mean, we were virtually inseparable. I mean, during Christmas or like during Valentine's Day, he'd go out to lunch with whoever he was going out with. But who did he go out to dinner with? It was always me. Christmas, he'd spend like. Um, Maybe Christmas Eve was someone, but I had all of Christmas Day. If you went out of town, I was the one that took care of the cars and took care of the apartment. I mean, those bitches hated me. Yeah. Who was this woman? You know. I remember when my Honda got stolen. Epstein had somebody like that. Who? Epstein had somebody like that. (laughs) He probably did, that guy. No, he did. And so I I had been in your car, and she was leaving, and she came through the... um, as she came through the, I don't know what it was Turnstile. called. Turnstile. As she passed me, I said, you're nothing but a hole. And by the time I got upstairs, you were on the phone with her and she had to just crying. Who, who was and it? Who you, was it? Who was go, it? Wait a minute. Kathleen. I go, well, it's true. Well, who was that? Which, which? I think it was Lisa. Lisa? 
Oh, oh, she was, she was crazy. She was crazy. That well, I know she was. She was absolutely or nuts. Was Michelle, who was like four feet tall. Huh? Who was the stalker that I got rid of for you? How did God, I can't remember who that was. What did it was you do? At, when we were at Camel, and she used to call uh, the, the, the show. She yeah. would call you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't remember who that was. I don't think I ever met her. I think she just kept calling me and stalking me that way. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. But What's funny is I had made Alex a stained glass window, and it said Alex Bennett. Mm-hmm. And I'd given it to him. And so the years later, you know, I meet him. And so about after a couple months we were hanging out, I go, you know, dude, like uh, five years ago, I gave you something. And so we're looking around the apartment. And, and the penicillin worked. And he goes, the stained glass window, and I go, yeah, that was me. <laughs> See? See? And you didn't even need penicillin after no. she gave you something. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, we were we were friends up to my last minutes in San Francisco. Yeah. And I was very protective and still am very protective. Yeah. 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 She was a, she's been a very good friend over the years who I, uh, yep. you know, I have, have not seen in 15 years now. I, I haven't, I've never seen your kid, you know. Nope. Yeah. And uh, uh, I hope he's treating you all right. I hope. Uh, oh, my gosh. My son, he's the best. Because he's, he's 13 now. You know, they get pretty ugly around this time. No, you know what? He's a really good kid. The hormones start jumping around, you know. Yeah. Well, he asked me today, he goes, hey, Mom, who makes the sperm? You? And I go, no, dude, the man. The prostate. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, uh, Charlie, you have kids? I got three. Three? Yeah. So you're here to testify that 13 is a bad time, right? Oh, yeah. Get those teenage years and mommy, I, mommy, get, Two, get used. Two's to, not easy either. Wait a minute, get used to this, mommy. I hate you. You don't understand me. You don't understand. <laughs> and I've never had kids, and I know this for a fact because I've heard it from all my friends. How about you, Phil? <laughs> you, you had a what? What about when I your have, kids? Had I have thir- two girls. <laughs> And a, and a and a dog and the dog loves me the 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 daughters don't but uh, you know and I'm going to have to put the dog down in another month or two because she has cancer yeah uh, you know so here the thing that loves me the most I have to end her life you know oh, wow. it's, it's really sad yeah that is I, sad. You know, I have never had anyone give me the kind of love that this dog has given me. really you know? yeah. It just uh, you know, w- without question, uh, this this dog is uh, unbelievable. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, pets are that way. That's why we have pets. It's yeah. Because they have. I should have certain... just had pets. No, but the, we. <laughs> <laughs> they give us an unconditional love. You know, yeah. they don't. They don't. They don't put any. Um, I mean, I found this with cats that I had. You know, yeah. they, they, they 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 the love was unconditional. It was just, I love you. Now where's yeah. my food? You know? yeah. Yes, where's my food? You know, that's the part you don't understand. There's part of that with her. She loves you, but that's because you feed her. If you didn't feed her, she wouldn't love you as much. But she wants my food. <laughs> she wants your food. Yeah. Right. Yeah. She doesn't want her food. She wants my food. Yeah. Well, I can't. Un- you see, the thing I can't understand about you, Phil, is that a lot of times when you're talking about social issues, you're so goddamn cruel. And yet, you are not a cruel person. You know, because I know you as I'm being. I'm not cruel when uh, it turn, comes to social issues. I just believe that you weaken a person by doing stuff for them that they could be doing themselves, and so, uh, and, and eventually you you turn them totally dependent uh, on other people uh, helping them to survive. You know, you, it's not. It's one thing to give people a hand up or a foot up, but it's another thing to keep them in poverty. For, for generation after generation. Well, no, I agree with you on that, but we, we need to find the methods to get them out of that poverty, you know? Well, Trump has those methods. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> He's doing them right now. Oh, he really he has done nothing. He has done nothing for poverty, Phil. He's uh, d- he, and he can't even, he can't even be, have a certain amount of, of love for little, cho- for little children who cross the border only looking for a better life. 
you know. Black unemployment is at the lowest level. Hispanic unemployment at the lowest it level. It has nothing to do with him. He, he, he there's more people off. It has nothing to do with now. him. All of this started with with Obama and all the programs yeah, that where he it put started. in. He could have he could have just continued the same uh, the same types of things that uh, other people have. Oh, he did but discontinue he didn't. A, lot, a lot of them. He wants he wants to get rid well, like love to get so rid of my Medicare. Not. Let's not you get into this. It's job. too late at night to do this. You know, and look, we have a lovely young lady here tonight. Let's be on our best behavior. Okay, Sleep since 1934, the Dems have been saying the Republicans are going to cut your Medicare. Uh, every election. They keep trying. Look at the budget. They have never done it. <laughs> they keep trying. In, in this 2020 budget, he cuts Medicare by like gonna, $800 billion. I'm going to recommend Trump cut your Medicare. That's, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> well, I just stopped listening to Phil. I got a new guy we got to bring on stage. I got the hat. <laughs> you got the hat. That's yeah, it. he's got the hat, so he has to walk the walk. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I pay twenty five bucks. So, are you, uh, uh, Schmoody? Are you dating at all? Nope. Nope. Oh, you know, right now my son is numero uno because I'm very blessed because I do have a great son. I mean, he gives me no grief. I mean, the grief gives me is nothing yeah. compared to what I hear from my friends regarding this. For one, my son really does it. If my son gets on the computer, he's researching movies. Yes. He does not have a cell phone, so he's not constantly sitting on his cell phone. His real interest is uh, movies. Yeah. When I was 13, I didn't have a cell phone. I didn't have a computer. Ooh, there weren't any. <laughs> but, but all I wanted to do was have a car. And uh, then I was hell on wheels. So when I was you know, a, just remember when he's 16. When I was a kid, I didn't have an iPad. I had a slate. <laughs> <laughs> you had a chisel and a stone. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. iPad? No. You? A tablet. You know, I mean, anyway. Yeah. Um, your tablet was made. God, it's great to see you, Schmoody. Now that you know how to do this, do it more often. I will. You know, because uh, uh, yeah, just do it more often. Because we we uh, we love. I love seeing you, and I love having you here. And you can join in on the conversation, and you can beat the shit out of Phil. I won't. You know, <laughs> that would be the that would be the good thing. It's to get, beat the shit out of Phil. Uh, and it, see how simple it is. All you have to do is just remember your password, and here you are. And where do you live, Phil? Walnut Creek. Oh, you're in Walnut Creek. Yeah. I can drive over there and spank him. Yeah, see you. <laughs> and, I, and I would even pay for it. <laughs> I think maybe that's a good idea, huh? Hey, hey listen, uh, thank you, everybody. I really appreciate it. We've had a lot of people watching this tonight. This is amazing. Uh, I don't know. And we didn't do anything. Maybe, maybe that's the answer. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the answer. Anyway, thank well, you very much, ticket. Phil. Thank you. Thank you, Charlie. Yeah. Thank you, Tony. And thank you very much, Moody. It's good yeah. seeing you. Do it more often, will you? Like every, will. every yeah. night. Every night. Do it. Anyway, uh, why, why doesn't everybody give a big wave goodbye to our audience out there uh, so that we can uh, we can say good night? I'll, I'll wave back at you, too. Thanks. Bye-bye. Uh, that's it uh, for our citizen panel. Let me just hang up on them all so I can get the phone lines ready or the Skype lines ready for our, uh, our lovely and attractive citizen panel, which is next over most of the same station. We'll be back again tomorrow night. I hope we get more callers, but uh, we'll be back again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And as I always like to say, uh, well, actually, it's too early for me to sign off. Uh, Jack will find, well, let's see what Jack does if I sign off early. I'm Alex Bennett. We'll see you tomorrow night right after. Oh, we got the, the sports show tomorrow night with uh, uh, the franchise MC. And then at 930, there is Damian Chaplin in the exchange at 10 o'clock. I'll be back. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her. Tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.